Let's have a look at solving. 6x plus 3 is equal to 9 minus 7x. We've got x's on both sides of the equal sign. So we say, which side shall we collect the x's on? Well, I can see that we've got more x's, well, actually on the left-hand side, because on the right-hand side it's minus 7x, and minus 7 is a smaller number than positive 6. So I'm actually going to take the x's to the left-hand side. So I'm going to leave the 6x exactly unchanged. It doesn't swap sides, it doesn't swap signs. 6x remains as 6x. I'm going to take that minus 7x to join it on the left-hand side. It swaps signs, so it swaps signs to become plus 7x on the left-hand side. I now take the two number terms that we've got, the 3 and the 9, and collect them together on the right-hand side. It doesn't matter which one we put first. I'll put the 9 down first. The 9 doesn't swap sides, so it doesn't swap signs. It stays as 9, or if you like, plus 9. You can't see the plus in front of it because it's the first thing that we've written down. I'm now going to take the plus 3 and drag that across to join the 9 on the other side. It swaps signs, so it swaps sides. It swaps sides, so it swaps signs, rather. So the plus 3, change it over, becomes minus 3 on the other side. So we get 6x plus 7x equals 9 take 3. Let's simplify things. We now add the 6x and the 7x together, you'll get 13x's. And you'll get 9 take away 3 on the right, well that's just 6. So 13x's are equal to 6. I don't want 13x though, I want x. So what I'm going to do is share this by 13 on the left to get a single x. So to keep it balanced, I take the 6 and I share that by 13 as well. 6 share by 13 is a really awkward decimal. Don't even reach for a calculator. The answer is x equals 6 thirteenths. That's the end of this video.